what's happening everybody this will be time for discussion volume 14 games that you hate and everybody loves it without further ado let's get it started it could be any type of entertainment genre it could be music sports video games uh, books TV shows etc I decided to go after video games for the fact that's one of my thing my main strengths first on my list is definitely Halo 2 the story it takes place right right after the events of Halo first strike novel according to a Wikipedia dot org so the story was great when I first played it like in 2002 and I beat it twice but now after three to five more times the story is just Man, the, I mean, the four books of Halo that I have is more interesting than Halo 2, and that's saying a whole lot. And the gameplay is just, just boring and too simple. You know, I mean, the the weapons of United, yeah, United Nations Space Command. I just didn't like it. I mean, the battle rifle was nothing nothing more than a weakling. The pistol was the worst. And the sniper rifle is, is the same. The shotgun is weak. So the convent and brute weapons are more interesting. Packs more punch. In my book. And what's with everyone praising Master Chief to high heaven I mean he's not the greatest here a video game character of all time you wonder why IGN did an article of top 10 video game characters over being overrated and he's on that list at number one which is no surprising even though I don't agree most of their list I just I don't get it. I mean, he's he, he reminds me of Superman all the way. I mean, he's, like, he's indestructible. Nothing can hurt him. And plus, he talks, but barely. So that's why I can't stand him. I can't stand the game. Not because of the story and the characters and the whole 10 yards. The gameplay was just boring. And snooze fest shoot all the characters in halo has more personality spunk and attitude than than master chief that's the way i feel number two definitely gonna be devil may cry not two three and four i'm talking about the original devil may cry that game is nothing more than a backtrack put face the same boss characters like three times I and mean, the controls are fine but it's not all that it's not that great sorry but not great and you got a protagonist Dante the devil hunter who talks more than a woman and that really irritates me he's even worse than in devil may cry 3 Dante's awakening special edition Sheesh. In the game itself, the um, Devil May Cry, the, the original one, it's not a classic. I mean, I never would, I would never shove that down your throats, but to me, I think it's not that great. It's not a classic. Last but not least, there if I say it, definitely Gears of War. Yep, I can feel the hate. I can feel the intensity. I'm no, I'm gonna get killed for it. So, oh well. The game, I played it, beat it in two days. It was really short for 60 bucks at the time. You must be joking. You must be smoking crack if you think I'm going to fork over 60 bucks for that piece of trash of a video game. I just, I couldn't, I just can't stand that game. I mean can't stand the character designs I can't stand the gameplay it's 
I, well, actually, I will admit it was good in the first half, but second half, it was nothing more than the same doggone thing. I mean, you only get to ride on the vehicle just one time. It don't even last no more than two freaking minutes. Are you for real? And Marcus Phoenix as a protagonist, hmm, I wonder why he's an overrated character in um, IGN.com's article. That's only two things I agree with him is Marcus Phoenix and Master Chief. Other than that, that's it. I mean, we've seen characters like that before. I don't know, Kratos from God of War. And other video games I, I forgot to mention. So, I just, and the graphics it just was ugly. But it doesn't make the game. It just doesn't. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we have learned today. There are people out there going to hate, like myself, going to hate games despite everyone loves it. Oh, I need to add one more thing in there before I go. Call of Duty War Wars single player game. I love single player games, especially Call of Duty 2 and 4, the best in my book. Rare FPS games. My rare favorites, but War at Wars single player mode, even though it's 15 missions long, it's just it's the same thing as Call of Duty 4, and to make matters worse, the German soldiers are as predictable as you can get. I mean you already know what they're gonna do. And the Japanese Imperial soldiers, they're brainless. They can't even shoot straight worth a spit. When it comes to melee attacks, they're really good at that and ambushing as well. And it's a grenade fest to a fault. You will die by grenades more in Call of Duty War at War than Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And with that, this discussion is over. Get ready for part two. All right. Take care. Peace.